The reality is that my presence in the Senate is an affront to some. They are offended that people of color and Muslims have the audacity to not only exist, but to open our mouths and join the public debate. Some politicians call us cockroaches. Some say we are a disease which Australia needs vaccination for. Some, if they had their way, would ban us from making Australia our home. So it is with great pride I stand here before you unapologetically, a brown Muslim migrant feminist woman and a green senator. We are subject to rules that white people never will. We don't have the luxury of mistakes or of slipping up because as soon as we do, we become a case study to validate existing stereotypes. We don't have the luxury of individuality because we are considered a monolithic mass who operate as one. These are uncomfortable truths for many people and there is sometimes an inex inexplicable disbelief that racism exists in Australia, but not talking about it because it might make people uncomfortable creates the very silence that allows institutional racism to persist. We cannot be a country for all Australians while communities like the Sudanese are used as political footballs. We all need to do much better at including historically silenced voices. My presence here and that of a handful of other people of colour is just the beginning of the process, not the end. I reaffirm my commitment to stamping out racism and sexism in every way I can. Let us have the courage, though, to acknowledge it wherever it happens. To those who want me to F off back to where I came from, I say, Mazrat chahti hu, magar afsos nahi. Ye mera ghar hai. Sorry, not sorry. This is my home and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>